Hey there. Well, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I think the last uh, video I made was when I was teaching the few classes um, while I was doing my master's also. I think that was a little less than two years ago. That was in 2018, around like November or so. It's been a little while. Um, I've really been wanting to get back into just recording these things for fun. It's it's always been a, a thing for me to do, I, I guess ever since I was a kid, I guess, to make videos and stuff. And I kind of missed uh, making these type of vlogs, I guess. Just fun things to just work on and just see how it goes. It's going to be interesting on figuring out where to start with these again. I have a pretty decent backlog of videos I actually need to edit from stuff from back in California when I was doing NASA internship there. Uh, DC when I was at NASA headquarters there as well and lots of various other stuff. I have a lot of a lot of work I still need to edit. I just never got to it I guess. So if I really want to get back into this I really got to pick up the pace on that. But over the last uh, year or so I finished my master's. I just started the PhD part-time uh, mainly just as a personal accomplishment for myself, something a personal goal that I've always wanted to do. And uh, besides that, just continue doing fun stuff like this. The master's was a crazy experience by itself. My my thesis, um, besides teaching the hundreds of students and stuff like that, which was a lot of work to be honest, uh, my thesis itself, which I did around facial recognition and augmented reality, that was a um, a pretty intense topic, especially with uh, me not having a huge background in the AI and stuff like that. So for these type of videos, I just I, I plan on doing some more vlogs like this, just uh, going out, hanging out with friends, doing fun stuff from the middle working to video games to various other things, exploring. Um, but besides that, I was thinking about work, start working on some more engineering oriented projects, uh, fun little things. Like one I have in mind is a like a, a paintball gun, sentry gun, that uses the machine learning side to look for stuff. It's, it's not anything you would want to do here, it's mainly just something fun out in the hill country, for example. He's, why not? Uh, but kind of orient the videos either towards, like I said, vlogs or projects, or kind of kind of get a feel for it, however it goes. I'm not entirely sure yet. But for example, today, um, I'm heading over to Kerrville, over to, back to the hill country to Hang out with a couple of friends. They're going to be working on some automotive stuff as well as uh, the the blacksmithing forge and things like that. Just to kind of kind of see what's going on. Um, we have some projects underway for different types of, I guess, metalworking related things and stuff like that. So it'd be it'd be cool to kind of to kind of showcase what we've what we're kind of looking into and what our what our plan is for that. But first, um, I need more coffee. Definitely coffee is what keeps me going. Uh, on the way to Kerrville, I might stop by Black Rifle Coffee Company and pick up something uh, just for the intermediate time there. Uh, Black Rifle is is a awesome place. They make some really awesome coffee, awesome people. Um, swing by Bernie, uh, get some there, and then definitely hit up the Hardback Cafe, which is the old Hastings in Kerrville, which my go-to is always the mocha frappuccinos. Those are amazing. Maybe not the best for you, but if you're gonna go to Kerrville and you know, it's like an hour drive, why not, right? <laughs> and yeah, I just gotta get back into the groove with these things, um, see what we can knock out today and go from there. But let's, let's start the drive. Just got done with the drive. Uh, ended up not going to Black Rifle because by the time I got out of traffic, the um, it would have been closed down. So just got here to Kerrville, or here in the Hill Country, Hill Country part of Kerrville, and let's see what the the guys are up to if I can find them. <laughs> a lot, a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot of badass. A lot, a lot, a bunch of fun. Very much, a lot, a bunch of fun. What's up, Elijah? Like sixty thousand dollar luxury car. Hey, so I don't know where they're at or what they're doing, so do you want to see if you can cross the road the videos? I actually used to hair in that world, so... It worked pretty well to keep my base from being destroyed. Well, I'm going to let those guys do their thing. They're pretty busy with trying to lift up the uh, transmission over there. A lot of work. All right, so we replace one part. It's a big step. So, this here is the forge. It's kind of disorganized at the moment. 
let me uh, flip the camera around. So besides the native uh, supply of empty beer cans, we have a couple of anvils, some tools up here. Again, it's pretty disorganized. Um, he's doing some glass working to make some, uh, these are all like wine bottles and stuff, using some of the glass to make some cool jewelry and little additions to the little swords. It's hard to do it on the big projects, but we have a propane forge here, which is awesome. Plenty of nail supply for the small little swords that we're going to be kind of mass producing for the most part for some uh, events coming up. But essentially, this is this is it. If you notice over here, this uh, shelf has the Half-Life symbol. Hey. So the idea with the forge here is we're trying to work on various different projects. Uh, he, for example, my friend Josh, who's over in the shop there, he is a uh, see the reflection out of there. We're currently making these little swords like this, which are really good for taking to events or just something small for someone to pick up uh, pretty easily. Um, with that, you can also add, we were adding like copper wire for um, wrapping around the handle, the hilts, and different little designs, kind of grind it down so it's not so rusty, obviously. But besides that, making uh, a little bit larger things, almost hit myself in the face. <laughs> There's one that's it's been out here for a couple of years, so it's super rusty. But, you know, you can make some interesting designs. This here, we have some metal, uh, little round pieces that you can twist up to make the handle. Here we also got, you know, some larger uh, nails. These would be for those little swords, like I said, but like a larger version of it. Um, I think you moved a lot of the stuff into the house because I don't really see it at the moment. The other swords and stuff. But our, our goal is to uh, get things up and running uh, pretty well and start just producing some small little uh, swords and axes and shields, little like souvenirs, I guess, letter, letter openers, and um, some more large scale things. So far he has two large, large shields he has made. I just don't see them around here anywhere. They were over on the table over there, but I think he took them inside so they don't rust as much. We, we uh, painted over them. Yeah, so we have a lot of stuff planned for what we want to do with all this. Um, sorry if it's a little windy. I just figured I'll just step out here in the sunlight. But <laughs> So a lot of our plans are we're trying to uh, make a lot of the different types of swords and shields, eventually get to armor and stuff like that. And since we play D&D &D and other games, maybe it'd be cool if we can base some of the designs here off of what we do in the games. So we have like a one-to-one -one scale if we want to use them for uh, just for fun, or if people want to buy one, that'd be cool. Um, you also have little miniatures that we're making, so we can use those for the actual D&D games, which would be a nice little little like asset for it. And to add on to that, um, I like to play video games way too much, and I like to make them as well. I'm trying to get back into making them full-time if I can, as a, as a hobby. And just kind of expanding that way and see how, see how everything goes. But yeah, lots to do. Not enough time. So I think our next goal here is we want to try to get some more tools, uh, see if we can get a hammer press, maybe some larger anvils, uh, another forge, propane forge. We have a coal forge in the other building. Has been used in a while though. Coal is actually kind of expensive compared to propane. And it's kind of expanded that way. Um, I'm looking to get a, a 3D printer, a CNC machine that would help out with some of the designs for the hilts and if we get into uh, armor, some cool stuff like that. Uh, and see if we can tie some of that, like I said, into the D&D stuff, into the video game stuff, and see if there's some way we can kind of mold everything together. It's going to be interesting, but it, I think it'll be worth it in the end. With the events and stuff that happen around here, uh, Fredericksburg, Kerrville, etc., see if we can kind of just showcase stuff there and see what people's interests are in. Aside, like I said, from the metalworking, uh, the blacksmith work, the video game stuff, the just the community we're trying to build, all those things I think would be really awesome to kind of keep pushing forward and see what people think about it. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. It will take a lot of time, a lot of effort, but so far it's been a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go see if these guys uh, are done with it yet. That is the angry blacksmith. <laughs> What's up? So there's the shield, as you have the truly. Definitely a great combo. Ah, too much reflection. Cool. How uh, how many skulls would crack with that? Every one. Every one of them.
So if you dual wield shields, you can't hold the beer, but you gotta. <laughs> Oh yeah. Two people. <laughs> so Josh, out of the hammers behind you, which one's your favorite? Uh, that's a funny question. Uh, so we have a selection of three here. There is uh, three different hammers from Tractor Supply actually. That are like a job mark brand. Very specific um, bevel on the end. They're all different. There's, there's I mean, you got a you got a couple, but there, there, there's three of the same that are specifically like this. I have one more right here. So these three hammers are from different times throughout the year, probably like two or three years apart. And this is the older one. And the bevel is the perfect like shape where this one is a little bit different and this one's a little bit different. Yeah. If you want to make the proper ridge in the swords, it has to have the right, the right angles and stuff on it. So you can always like grind it down and shape it the right way. Yep, and that's one of the little small swords with the nail. Oof. <laughs> Not sponsored by Truly. So it kind of make that little spot for the glass, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Got some nice selection of uh, wine bottles and beer bottles here. You also have some blue ones here too. So the idea is with this little sword, once it focuses, the uh, part up here, the end, is where we can mill some glass and make a little nice little Get a nice jewel little uh, end to it, which makes it kind of definitely unique and really cool looking. Can we use a masonry hammer. Yep. Now that's some redneck blacksmith in there. Damn, son. <laughs> yep. So then that will go onto the tip of the the uh, cuff or the end hilt of the sword. And from there, you just melt it, and it turns out to be pretty awesome. So there you go, the little piece of glass there on the uh, the end of the hilt. The idea is you melt it down and it'll kind of form into the little pocket there and it turns out to be a nice little jewel for the, the sword. Um, and you have some copper there too. This. Fuck yeah, bud. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I've editing software, so it's good. So, yeah, edit, editing is good <laughs> because there would be a lot of that, probably. So, the way that I would describe it if I was starting to describe it properly is if you have the temperature of the steel and the glass reach the same temperature at the same time, they bond together. And if you heat up the glass too fast, it'll crack and pop and disintegrate. It'll shoot off in a random direction. Yep. So whenever you do it, you have to make sure that you don't heat it up too quickly or too slow. Yeah. The way that the flames bounce off of the glass, it will pop and shatter just like that. Or fall on the ground. Well, it, it, it cracked. It was too hot. So yeah. It, um, <laughs> So you gotta get it just right, thermodynamics.
Mm-hmm. And now, if it does cool off properly and it lands on the ground, you drop or something, it won't break. It won't pop off like the other one. Yeah, so it should, uh, I don't want to say adhere to it better, but it should stay in place better. Yeah. Well, it's like the, uh, the structure of the glass is more, it, it, with the seat that it's in, you bent those pieces up, and it's more of a concave shape on the glass and a convex shape on the steel, it all becomes one. So, mm -hmm. glass is very sturdy, like a Prince Rupert's drop, whatever. Is that what it is? is yeah. That right? The little drop at the yeah. tail of the end, that's almost the, impossible to break without. The, the shape of the glass is real important, so it adds a lot of structure to it. But yeah. I've had some where they'll pop off immediately if the bubble's not the right shape, but if I press it down on it and kind of uh, reshape the glass, it, you could throw it on the ground and it won't break. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's all about practice and getting it down and getting the recipe down. Cool. There you have it, folks. So these will sell for uh, $999.99 on uh, Etsy. So. Not yen. American <laughs> dollars. American dollars only. Yep, because that's American cool. propane. But yeah, here are the shields. This one's a little rusty, but it gets a really nice look to it with the rust. Patina. Patina. <laughs> and the interior is all painted. Obviously, you can do different colors, but it makes the welds look a lot cooler, I guess you can say. And uh, Josh's unique twisted handle, which is his signature thing. Yeah, don't talk about the welds. Wait, no, I'm not. There's only a few spots. There's like some splatter, but... <laughs> Not, I'm not talking about the welds. It's supposed to look like a star system. Well, I guess it's time to head over to the coffee shop. We're pretty much all done here. The uh, other guys are working on the car still, so that's getting kind of crazy. So take them some time, but we got to make it over and get the coffee before they close in about an hour, 45 minutes or so. And uh, after that, probably get back here, play some uh, play some video games for a little bit, and I need to head back to San Antonio afterwards. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Um, just got to make it into town before the coffee shop closes, unfortunately. On the way back from coffee, have to replace the uh, daytime running light. And that is a bigger pain to get into than I thought, besides it being so dirty. And he has the sword to, uh, to get into it. Not too fun. So you can't get into it through the top. You have to go behind the, uh, the guard there in the wheel wheel. So, not fun stuff. Is something wrong with drill? Drill does not work with, uh, with this, so don't try that at home. Well, it's the next day. Yesterday was a pretty fun day, not as productive as I wanted it to be. Um, but we got some stuff done. The guys were working on the, the, one of their cars, and we got some of the metalworking stuff done afterwards. I realized that my uh, daytime running light was out, one of my low beams. So I went over to Advanced Auto Parts, picked up one right before they closed. It turns out that on the website, the number they gave me is the wrong one, unfortunately. The pin connectors, if you can see it very well, was slightly off from what mine was. And changing these things out in this car kind of sucks. You got to get underneath the wheel well and stuff. Um, so I'm going to head over there and see if I can turn this one back in and get the actual one I need. Um, and then after that, try to catch up on some schoolwork. But so far, it's been pretty fun. I need to get I need to get back into the groove with the best way to record these type of videos and stuff. But it was a good first uh, first shot, I think. And like I said, one of my goals for these is to just have little fun, uh, I guess, vlogs like this. Technically, I guess is what it's called. Um, and also to do some showcasing of different projects that we're working on: engineering projects, uh, metalworking, automotive, video games. Whatever we're involved with, I guess, uh, and see how that see how that goes. Kind of make something fun out of it, um, and just kind of expand from there. See what the best strategy is. But it's been fun. Uh, I definitely need to get some more coffee and really catch up on the school stuff. But weekend's almost done. Almost there. Thanks for watching.